Let's summarize the module. And one of the first things we covered in other attacks on the server is all about how seemingly minor risks, so risks such as improper error handling, can actually be turned into full-blown exploits. So we saw that internal stack trace and the version information of ASP.NET when I originally tampered with the URL on the page showing the Nissen. That in itself was very minor, but when we combined that with a SQL injection attack, we started getting passwords out of the system. Now this is really important to remember because often people will say, hey, this bug, it's just one little thing. In and of itself, it really isn't dangerous. But you've always got to think about how can that be combined with other risks in order to become something altogether more serious. Another thing we saw in this module, and indeed something that's come up many times across the entire course, is how security is frequently about degrees and context. So for example, we just looked at insecure cryptographic storage, Salted SHA-1. Many people would consider this secure, but clearly we also cracked it really, really quickly. Now over time, the view of the security of Salted SHA-1 has changed quite dramatically, particularly as GPUs get faster and cracking gets more efficient. And this is why today we're looking at algorithms that have a much higher workload. But even then, we come back to degrees again. It's not about making sure that no passwords can be cracked. It's about minimizing the number of passwords that can be cracked and making other trade-offs in the process. And then context, unvalidated redirects and forwards. There are times when this is very useful. It can be a feature of the application, but it can also be used in malicious ways. Sometimes you can mitigate that. But of course, there are also cases where you need to be able to redirect to anywhere in an unvalidated fashion. So the context of how that feature is implemented and whether or not a security control is suitable is enormously important. And finally, modern applications talking to web services. And that's not just modern applications in phones and tablets and PCs, but it's modern applications in everyday household items. Internet of Things, things, even cars. And increasingly, these are talking to services over HTTP running on web servers, just like the web application we've been looking at throughout this course is built on. So this opens up an all new frontier of potentially exploitable software. And that means for you, as an ethical hacker, your attack surface goes up enormously, not just because of this emerging class of software, but because of how quickly we're seeing new devices become dependent on internet connected services. So that's other attacks on the server. And indeed that now wraps up the entire ethical hacking web applications course. Thank you for watching. I'm Troy Hunt.